how to flash <clears throat> the firmware onto an R node for reticulum. This is a Heltec ESP32 V3, which I've put in a box. And actually on the display, <clears throat> if you can read it, it says it already has firmware 1.81. What I want to do is upgrade it to the new version. <clears throat> so um, first thing to do, is plug it into a computer via USB. This is Ubuntu. Sorry, Windows people. You'll have to install a driver for a CP2102 UART <clears throat> with uh, Linux. That's already included. And the first thing to do is to check that it's um, actually connected. It's with LSUSB. And as you can see somewhere here, we've got this CP210X UART. <clears throat> that is the uh, Heltec V3. The other thing to do is to check that it appears as a TTY terminal device by LSTTY. And there it is, <clears throat> TTY USB 0, and it's a member of the group called Dialect. You need to make sure that your user is also a member of the group called Dialect, otherwise you won't be able to access it. The command I used, <clears throat> I'll show you again. So let's list all the uh, TTY devices, is what that command means. And then, to actually program or flash the device, you need to use a web browser, which <clears throat> can use the web serial interface so it needs to be a chrome based browser and my favorite chrome based browser is this one which is brave for privacy reasons and it works very nicely and <clears throat> what you have to do is you need to go to this website which i'll put in the de oh, wait, description maybe <laughs> this is a short isn't it I'm not used to making shorts and <clears throat> then you need to select the device which is this one LoRa 32 from Haltech version 3, 868 megahertz, and so on. Not 433, which is the other option. And then let's just check what's already <clears throat> installed on that device. Let's detect R node. You have to select it every time you do something. So it's that one. It says it's already paired. Hit connect. And then you get this that pops up. It says, yes, it's an R node with version 1.81. <clears throat> what I want to do now is to upgrade it. So choose file where there is no file. So let's download the firmware, <clears throat> which is this link here, which takes us to another page. <clears throat> this is assuming I've already got it downloaded on my machine. Let's pretend I haven't. So let's hit cancel and then check this link here. Click this, which is official firmware which takes us to the GitHub page, and there's the new version 1.82. I had 1.81, remember? <clears throat> so what you need to do here is to choose it from the list. And Heltec 32v3.zip is this one. So you just click it, and it's going to download. <clears throat> Hit save. And that's downloading, and now it's saved. And it saved the zip file. You do not need to unzip the zip file. You can just go straight in and use it because it gets unzipped on the way during the flashing process. So select firmware to flash. It tells you it needs to be a dot zip. <clears throat> so now we can choose the file um, from my downloads directory. And let me just check. <clears throat> yes, it's that one because it was downloaded 9.43 in the morning, which was one minute ago. So that's the right version. So I'm going to hit select, and that's now loaded into this <clears throat> web flasher here. And this is the version 1.82, hopefully. So let's press the button, flash now, flash now. <laughs> See what happens. Again, you have to choose the device you want to send it to. Hit connect, and it says flashing, please wait, 100%. And then it's doing the various different partitions. So it looks like it's working. <clears throat> The display in the meantime has gone to sleep on this Heltec V3 to save power. Sometimes it wakes up when something happens <clears throat> or when you just fresh first plug it in. So that's done. Now it's flashing the other partition. And what we're going to have to do after this has happened is press the provision button and wait for the pop up to confirm it's done and then set the firmware hash and wait for that to pop up. <clears throat> so when those things are done, then it should have the new version on it. Let me just scroll up the screen a bit. Remember, you don't need to up unzip this. 
because you use the zip file as it is. So that's 100% no. And up here we get a pop-up that says firmware has been flashed. So the display is woken up again on this Heltec <clears throat> V3. I wonder what it says. Oh, it says corrupt. Okay. <clears throat> this is because it's not yet been provisioned and the firmware hash set. So let's hit provision on here. Again, you have to select the device. It's always at the bottom of the list for some reason, that one. Already provisioned. Okay. That's what it always says. And then you have to go back and say set firmware hash. And again, you have to select the device you want to use, which is this one. Sorry about the shaky camera using a mobile phone. <clears throat> so then we have to wait for a pop-up to appear. There it is. Firmware hash has been set. So hopefully now that corrupt message should have gone away from the display. <clears throat> and yes, it's gone away. And if you can read that, now the firmware version was 1.82. So it's been updated and should work. <clears throat>